Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here and welcome to the first episode in my Sporting Lisbon Save on Football Manager 2019. Um, I'm pretty excited guys, I'm excited to have my hands on the beta. It's very early in the morning, so I'm extremely tired. I'm a trusty friend monster with me and I'm hoping to set up the save here. So we're going to do the introduction, you know, the welcome to the club stuff, the first meetings that you generally do when you start a new save. Brief look at the squad and a brief overview. Um, the reason I picked Sporting was I'm quite excited to do Sporting. There's a bit of a backstory behind it and um, if you guys don't know, they had like this big thing where some fans, I don't know if they attended, if they were invited, but turn up at the training round. Attacked a lot of players and a lot of players left. Now, I know they got some funds for some of the players. All right, Gelson, Martins, I think they got money for. I think it was like 20 million. Nowhere near his worth, though, in my opinion. Nowhere near his worth. And I think a lot of players were debating whether they were going to come back or not. Um, Baz Dost, I think, came back in the end. But anyway, so there's a bit of a background there. I know they lost quite a few players. There's a bit of an uproar. I think it's something to do with the owner. <coughs> And the fans don't particularly get on. As you can tell, I'm really nasally. I'm full of cold, as per usual at this time of the year. So, it's just the standard situation. Just a new skin, though. A complete new skin. I like the layout. It's very similar, but just a little bit different. But it seems very clean. Um, I'm liking the new gen faces already. They instantly pop out to me. And I had <clears throat> zero issues whatsoever. Putting the badges in. They went in just the same as normal. As you would normally do them so let's get to the meat and veg of this video and start by doing the uh the pre-interview and stuff and let's see what they say to me so no philosophies but attend the meeting i, I love i love these meetings i'm pretty sure you can press the top one for every single bit of this meeting <coughs> yeah 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 Pretty much, yeah. I would like to evaluate the squad. Yes, please. Great summary. Uh, back room. Uh, great. Appreciate it. So pretty much, yeah. Top for all of them. Obviously, when you then meet the assistant manager, you're going to have to do some different things. Pretty much, you can get away with just pressing the top. Task with the club. Um, <clears throat> friendlies. If you could set them up, I will take care of them myself, though. Uh, and I think that's it for now. I'm going to leave it at that in terms of the assistance responsibilities. There's a lot more involved in it this year with the training and stuff. So I'm, I was never one for training on the games before. Um, it just seemed like, I don't know, it didn't feel like there was much effect. And I just didn't enjoy it. But I'm really, I'm hoping to get into this one. I like the fact that from what I've seen is you could praise... <clears throat> players who are performing well and it always um knocked me before when a player you'd say to a player you need to perform well in training and i'll give you minutes but there was no way of telling if they'd done well in training so this is cool that you can now see that i like that idea so yeah that's fine okay cheers we are done exit that concludes there will be no ball requests i'm excited to see um <clears throat> how much money let's instantly do that that's one of the first things i always like to know 7.8 uh, 18 million 23 so not a lot there's obviously going to be stuff we could do i don't know the state of the squad so if you are a sporting fan i apologize i don't know the state of the squad um at this moment in time tactics induction i think we're going to skip that i think i will do the tactics after this introduction into the squad I think. Uh, new signings and transfer obligations. Wow. <coughs> okay. All right, so we spent 5.5 million. Is that the uh, Victoria Gomez Rafinha? It looks like it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy already. So this guy could do some bits. I am. Um, I didn't know they signed him. I'm very happy to have him. 21 year old. That instantly means I'm using wingers now. 21 year old. Yeah. We're, Rafinha's in. We're, we're happy already. So, Emiliano Viviano. Uh, 32. How much did they pay for him? 1.8. Not bad. Marcelo. It seems they've done a bit of business, actually. But it's... There's... Are these loans out? 
Alarm's in. Alarm's out. So we've got a lot of players out on loan. We're doing a Chelsea. Apologies to Chelsea fans. But we have one player in on loan, which is Palunio. A 21. <clears throat> uh, it looks pretty decent. I don't We'll see how he gets on this year, right winger. But we've got a lot, wow, we've got a lot of players out on loan. I'm going to have to sit through and see if any of them are, are, are decent players. I think Dallar is from, from the get-go. And Golan, that's a shame I can't see what his prospect is. He looks okay though, dribbling 14, finishing 13, first touch. I mean, I'm not sure what the squad is in terms. I don't think, they missed out on Champions League, I think, last year. And they lost in the cup final, I think. I could be really off. I'm pretty sure they lost in the cup final, um, and that's, I mean, maybe before the cup final or after, that's what sparked the fans storming on and attacking, but I'm pretty sure they didn't get Champions League. I'd like to put my money on it. Where's the schedule? Euro Cup. Is that Europa League? Yeah. So we're in Europa League. That's another added test <clears throat> for the first season. I know that, but we'll take Europa League. I'm quite happy with that. Um, this is the beta save, but obviously, <coughs> as per usual on this channel, I'll do a beta save. It's never just a beta save, so we instantly know. This is hopefully three to four seasons. I'm going to say this every year that I start a new save. Oh, I've got more time. I'm going to put more into it. I just enjoy the ride. I enjoyed Leon last year. I really enjoyed it, and the fact that I actually... You know, finished it in the final episode. So hopefully we do well in this. The plan is to do a few this year and stream a bit more, but we'll we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure how this computer is going to handle this. I'm due a new one within days. So I'm hoping. Can I? I think you can cloud save this. Anyway, I'm baffling on injuries. Carlos Mane, back up. Stefan Staro on loan from Juventus. That's a good loan. He's a pretty. Decent player, box to box midfielder. I do like a box to box midfielder. Like he wants his work rate sell. Oh, I like the work rate and teamwork instantly off the ball. He's gonna be great for us. How long's he out for? I hope he's not out for long. Uh, pulled knee ligament, four or five months. Fantastic. I spoke way too soon. So we've got a man alone that we can't use for four or five months. This is fantastic news. Uh, some other play. I can't believe that. That's just my luck already. Responsibilities. Um, youth team training. That's fine, my man, if you want to take care of that. But <coughs> Portuguese transfer window. I do, once again, I apologise for the coughing. Um, you should be used to it. It's what we do. It's what we do. So Benfica, Gabriel. Who's that? D Gabriel. I haven't got a face pack yet. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, Nicholas Castello. You know, Benfica, for me, um, and Porto, it makes it a massive challenge. I don't think Sporting have won the league for, like, uh, what did I read? I think it was, like, 2001, 2002. I don't think they've won it in a very long time, so I think this is going to be huge if we can start to build a squad. Um, Portuguese Premier League. Will it tell us last time we won it? No. No, will it? It would do if I go into the history, but all club honours, I think it'll tell me here. Um, so, it, it, what? Yeah, 2001 2002 season. The last time they finished first. Wow, they had a poor year when they finished seventh. So, we finished last year, we finished third. So, third isn't Champions League. So, it's not top three teams, it's only top two teams in Portugal to get Champions League. That's going to be a bit frustrating because I don't think we can challenge Porto or Benfica this year which is going to make it frustrating but we've got great youth facilities so I'm excited to see what kind of youth players we've got crossing we're good at crossing attacking depth I like that midfielder so we're quite good in depth which I mean it doesn't say defensive depth which is a little bit panicky but it says we've got good youth prospects but I think probably one of the issue, uh, issues we will have is um Wage budget, handling, defence depth, yeah. So the defence is where we're lacking, which is so instantly I know now defensive players is what we're going to be looking for. But some good 
the fact that we've got good depth, uh, depth in the attacking positions and midfield positions just makes me happy instantly because with us doing Europa League, I'd quite like to do quite well in that tournament. I'm pretty sure financially, I know it's nowhere near the benefits of the Champions League, but I'm pretty sure it'll benefit us and you definitely should be good here. And as far as I'm aware, Portuguese teams seem to keep pumping out, going, wow, this goes for a while. <clears throat> We, we have a lot of good points. Work rate. I love the fact that the work rate. I'm tempted um, to play a pressing tactic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted instantly there to play a, uh, a pressing tactic. Last year, a contracts. And I'm going to have to go through this. So let's instantly just have a quick look. At the search bar, I always like to look at the player search and just see what kind of players that we can. Once it loads, I'm, I'm, I have to look at it in the, is it general info? Oh yeah, I have to look at this in the, in this chart, I can't deal with it. Wow, so financially, we are way down the ladder of players we can sign. Let's just instantly throw out the um, uh, attributes, no. Uh, quick search. Transfer listed. <coughs> Who's transfer listed? Ha, <laughs> Kagawa. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, Mangala. Instantly. No one pops out, though. Um, Carl Jenkinson. I didn't know I was uh, in there. Maybe alone. I don't know if we're short or right back. A quick, I'm gonna. I, I instantly can't wait until we get the squad view in. Um, Andre Pinto. I mean, mainly is the sellable assets. Um, let's look at the team report and let's look at squad depth. Um, we certainly won't be playing that. Uh, can I do all positions? <coughs> so Baz Dost is still here. Instantly makes me happy. Who, who doesn't love Bastos? 29 year old Dutch, but he's just, I, I just, the man's good. 18 finishing, guys. Eight. Wow. I, <laughs> uh, I never start with such a good start, uh, striker. That's fantastic. Montero and Freddy, yeah, okay. Okay. On a good wage. Great, you know, starting and back up already. Abdullah Diaby. Where have you been before, man? Bruges, okay, not bad, uh, Nanny, so Nanny's here, I mean, I might sell him, if, if you're a sporting fan and you're a fan of Nanny, uh, I'm not a fan, <laughs> I'm not a fan because he played for Man United so I'm never going to be a fan but his dribbling is great. Was his pace? He's still pretty quick, isn't he? For thirty-one, but if I could notch up someone, he's on quite a bit of cash as well. Who's his backup? Akuna. See, I'd much rather use this lad, but he's wanted. I definitely don't want to transfer this guy. I, I think uh, Marcos Akuna. I'd much prefer to be using him. I'm. I, <coughs> I wanted to play with wing backs. I'm slowly starting to think that's probably not going to be be possible unless we make signings. He's 100% the signings we make are going to have to be defensive because we are weak. Uh, I mean, what's Marcelo like? But again, 14. No, I think we could probably be serviceable. I like the fact that he's a ball player defender. Um, attacking midfielder is probably going to be a must with Bruno Fernandes, the 23 year old. Um, unbelievable player. I have no idea how long we'll be able to keep hold of him, but super player. I I, I think he's going to be perfect. So I'm, I am, I'm feeling the old school, four at the back, two, three, one. I think that's the way we're going to go, but with, uh, is he... So ball winning midfielder, but what's he? Ah, he's good. Maybe a ball winning in a box to box. Um, who was the box to box midfielder? Ah, oh, Starro wasn't he? We, oh, we can't use him because he's injured. So we're not because of that injury to our Stefan. 
of Stefano. Because he's going to be out for so long, that really hurts us. But I mean, what's pre-season? Pre-season's got to at least be a He's not going to be here until Christmas, though, is he? So we could have had a ball winning in a box-to-box, -box, which I'd have been quite happy about. But anyway, I'm babbling about tactics now. But yeah, I think overall I'm quite happy with the team. But in terms of of player search and looking for players, we definitely, all across the back, um, really need to look at some players that we could pick up. Maybe there'll be some frees. I don't know what the frees are. This Oh, Jordan Ferry. Sorry, I don't know what the frees are. And I really want to put my focus into oh, Lucas Lima. I've been being pretty good. Uh, we'll scout him instantly. I really want to put my focus into the youth squad, though. On the 23s, let's get the selection info. I do apologise if this is a babbling long video. This is one of those videos where you're setting everything up, looking at the team and stuff, so it just tends to go that way. I won't reports. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've got right back here. Ah, Thierry Correa. I like him already. Instantly, so that's an, that's an, a, a blooding a youngster into that right back position. I mean, Bruno Gaspar would would have been a wing back, an ideal wing back for me. But we don't have three competent um, central defenders that we can keep in a rotation. Who's this guy? Okay, a lot of their players are wanted. I don't know if it's um, systematic because of what happened. So it means that a lot of players are wanted from the off. I'm not sure. So Paulinho, who we loaned in from Fluminense, is, he yeah, he doesn't make sense because he's just in the under 23. So why did we loan him in? Um, okay, so we've, we've got a few options, but oh, this guy here at left back, oh, 21. Crossing, dribbling. I like them to go forward. The problem is, is his marking is not great. Um, but is he quick? He's, he's more than quick enough to get back. Um, I think instantly he has to be moved to the foot. Actually, let's just look at our depth. See, we're not overall because... Uh, do you know what I mean? Uh, Matthew said it wrong. Don't care. <laughs> he, he's going to have to play centre-back. Because I know we're not deep in that position. Yeah, wow. Well. Free. We have three centre back, so he's one hundred percent a centre back for us. He he's old. He's a centre back. So Jefferson, I don't see much more in Jefferson apart from his inflated. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. His inflated wage. It makes him much different. So ah, we we can let we they were really right when they said we lacked depth in defence, but I think instantly. Lumar, great, I, I love pronouncing names, it's awesome, deserves to be brought up, he's wanted, I, there's gonna, there's gonna have to be a lot of changes, isn't there, I think overall, but potential down here, we've got a centre back here, an 18 year old centre back, I mean he can instantly get 14 heading, 11 markets, but he can instantly be a rotation, no nonsense centre back, I like that, that's um, that's got to be the limited, the new limited defender, hasn't it? No nonsense centre back like that. So he he could potentially be a good prospect, and we need defensive prospects because none of the rest here are defensive whatsoever. Um, right, okay. I just want to urge at the end of this video just to let you guys know that this is the beta. If you haven't got the beta, you can pick it up. The best place to get it, the best. But I didn't. I just got it from CD Keys. I think the best place to get it is look at one of the more popular YouTubers, they'll have a code, 100% go and get that code, and I think you can get it for like 27 quid. But anyway guys, that's the first episode, this is just us going through the squad, I'm going to figure out a tactic, I'm going to try and make some transfers, we're going to get into the schedule, <coughs> and wow, okay, a lot of friendlies, I'm playing a lot of friendlies, uh, I'm going to try and get straight through the friendlies and start the season, um, I'm not sure what teams we should be, I like this breakdown of month by month though, I really like that. Well, this is a cup month. Um, yeah, I really like that breakdown. But we don't potentially, this is just going off my knowledge, see a bigger 
waiting until Braga. So until November, which is good. Uh, Braga and Porto back to back, and they've been fit. So, I one hundred percent we should be getting third this first season. And in fact, actually, what is the competitions? What do they want us to achieve? Qualify for Champions League? That's that's not great. I probably wouldn't have selected that one. So it's only top two. Because we finished third last season, so it's got to be on the top two. Uh, Continental. Uh, top team, second. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's going to be tough. So we're going to have to try and knock off Porto or Benfica. Um, Porto won it last year, but Benfica have got Benfica have got such a good squad. I mean, if we could poach half of the players from Benfica, that'd be good. But um, instantly, I like this as well. So this is a contract signing, but instantly my assistant says, these are players you should be signing. You know, we should be re-signing. I like that because it pops out as well. But I'm not sure yet, guys, we're going to keep the purple. We're going to run with the purple to start with. We're going to try it because it's new. It's exciting. It's not that exciting. It's purple, but we're going to give it a go. I don't mind it, but I'm not sure if I like it. I've always been a, a, a dark skin kind of guy when it comes to football manager. I don't tend to use different skins that are fancy or whatever i'm boring as hell Just give me the fm dark skin i'll deal with it but i do quite like this one i couldn't use i can't use the light one it's too bright it's just in your face i don't know i just don't like it but anyway guys that's the opening episode hopefully i'll be back pretty soon this will be uploaded pretty quickly i think it's like nine o'clock in the morning now um i hope you're all enjoying the beta if you've got it feel free to leave in the comments who you've started with what team you're using um Possible little cheap gems that is, I mean it's early days but possible little cheap gems that we can look at for a team like Sporting because uh, we don't have a great budget but anyway guys thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.